Diasbiosis is a, a physical condition when uh, uh, the intestinal microbiota is changed. This changing is uh, due to different reasons, and uh, one of these reasons are the uh, many diseases, and especially allergic diseases or uh, um, obesity or diabetes. Uh, and in the, uh, these uh, particular patients, uh, uh, we have seen that uh, uh, the microbes and especially the microbiota and the microbioma is changed. We observed different proportions of uh, different microorganisms. We have seen, for instance, that Clostridia or Firmicutes are increased in the uh, diabetic patients, in obesity patients, as well as in the allergic patients. In the life course, it's really important to change these, uh, 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 these uh, diasbiosis and this uh, uh, these microbism because it's really important. One of uh, the tools that we have uh, in the changing of microbiota is diet, for instance, or otherwise the use of some probiotics. Of course, this last field is very, very interesting and very promising because we know that uh, probiotics are able to uh, change and to modulate and to improve the diversity of microbiota. Because we know that the diversity is, uh, uh, is related to an healthy condition of uh, uh, many people. So, but we know also that uh, only some probiotics uh, are able to improve the diasbiosis. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, these uh, probiotics are able to change microbiota, to change the, some immunological uh, uh, stimulation, and to change the so-called leaky gut. The leaky gut is a condition when the permeability, intestinal permeability, is changed by the diasbiosis. That's why it's really important to change the diasbiosis uh, when uh, some probiotics can be administered because some probiotics uh, uh, can uh, uh, block and stop this permeability and improve the patient condition. Especially in some uh, pathological diseases, uh, allergic disease, and especially in atopic dermatitis, we know that some probiotics are very, very useful in the increasing the immunological condition of, the, of these patients uh, by stimulating the uh, interleukin-10 and by stimulating the Th1 cytokines. At the same time, these uh, particular uh, probiotics uh, in atopic dermatitis can improve also the uh, diasbiosis and improve the intestinal permeability. We observed in many studies, for instance, that uh, some probiotics can be decreased, some firmicutes uh, uh, bacteria can, can be decreased, the uh, um, Staphylococcus aureus load in the feces. And this is an important tool to decrease the skin colonization of uh, Staphylococcus aureus and to decrease the Staphylococcus aureus load in the fecal.